the friendliest animals in the world, nobody knows why, but we can all agree the vibes are immaculate. Things mm. animals do that should honestly be- <laughs> What's going on YouTube, it's your boy Miss One. Today we're taking a video called Nature Not Being Sober for 10 minutes straight. Oh um, my, let's go. Here are animals that look dangerous. I see this. I've been really aren't. enjoying the freaking this LSD nature, crocodile bro. Is Gario, and I do fish too. Has zero so that's in turning a, like I said, it's a plus plus. And because they used to get hunted for their snout and skin, this acid trip water gecko is more afraid of us than we are of them. Because the I'd be really is a 13 into it. But hell, guppy with a receding gum line that actually lost. Like I'm watching it off camera. Prey. But they live at the bottom of the ocean and they're way too lazy to be a threat to people if they did. Spider they're warning. blind, slow, and if looks could kill, they do bundy numbers. Think they call goblin harmless sharks. I know what you're thinking, but hear me out. Tarantulas are almost zero threat to people because not only are they much more afraid of you, they're is no worse than a bee sting. To my knowledge, mm. they've never erased a person, and the most dangerous thing about them is that they'll launch hairs at you if you get in their face. Other than oh, that, bruh. they're one of those animals that look way worse than they really are. And last is the shoebill stork. The freaking I will beat you the fuck up. No cap. But the truth is, they're really friendly towards humans, and will even let oh. bird watchers come right up to their nest without attacking them. And even oh, though they God. look like a demonic hippogriff with the vocal Bro. cords of a machine gun, all you have For to do real. is bow to earn their trust. For a bird that cops huh. crocodiles for fun, this devlai tweety's just a feathery puppy. Here are some animals that look dangerous but surprisingly aren't. The harpy eagle looks like a flying demon that feeds on the souls of the innocent, but they're not aggressive and friendly towards humans. Unlike okay. most large raptors, the harpy will allow people to walk big. up to them while they're sitting on a perch. They're Sheesh. actually so unbothered by people that it makes them an easy target for hunters, which is why we can't have nice things. It won't take your soul, even if you probably deserve it. At over 200 pounds, the mountain lion is a steroid with whiskers. But the Man, same animal that stuff look to bears and moose actually wants to smoke with people, and they don't need a pandemic to social distance. Look at this video and tell me I'm wrong. Mm. I oh, just ran right past them. Cougars will actually run away at the sound of human voices, proving that cougars aren't a threat unless it's happy hour. This snake may mm. look venomous, but the milk snake is 100% harmless. When threatened, they would much rather run away. They only look dangerous because they're the same gang I know coral snake, right which there actually will put you on a t-shirt. Next is a paralysis demon with frequent flyer miles, the Andean Jeez. condor. As a scavenger with a weak beak and even weaker claws, they feed on the dead because they want no smoke with the living. No matter how <laughs> ugly this flying testicle gets, it'll never attack a human. They're just out here minding their own business. You want to know how I know nah, for man. a fact nature has a messed up sense That's of humor? Koala? This Australian Teddy bear has the vocal cords of Satan with acid reflux and a dying Honda Civic. Oh my God. Koala sound like that? Don't know what I was expecting, but it was never this, and I can only imagine the first person to ever hear this helped a therapist retire early. And now we have yeah. the fastest land mammal on earth, the cheetah, which I would take I seriously if they like didn't sound like this. <laughs> Do they really sound Unless like that, bro? Sound to like souls birds. Which, this logistically makes no sense. Obviously, nature did not want cheetahs to win. Next, we get the Cory Buster. For real? And if nature wasn't on crack, you'd expect it to sound like a goose. Instead, it sounds like it should be running fades with plumbers and kidnapping dumb blondes. I see him got his little, his little mic. He got the little headphone up there. Did I mention this Jurassic oh, look, creature down, Finally, we have the elk, and I think I just gave every hunter watching this a semi. But it sounds like a kitchen door when you're trying to sneak ice cream at 3 a.m. Just wait. It'll make sense. Oh man, for real, it do sound like a door creaking. Joke. I am willing to bet any amount of money under three dollars that you thought the bird that represents the United States of America has a shrieking majestic call at the beginning of every Western movie. Ah, but they really sound like a seagull with laryngitis choking on a right Popeye's back, biscuit. Alright, man, we back. We're gonna run that back. Every Let's Western go. movie. <laughs> but they really sound like is a seagull with laryngitis choking on a Popeye's biscuit. Is he loud? <laughs> No, it actually makes sense they represent America. They're intimidating until they open their mouth and you realize they're a mess inside. Next is the fairy penguin, the smallest Facts. penguin in the world at a foot tall Facts. and three pounds. But if you think this flipper tweety sounds like a normal bird, you're giving nature way too much credit. They sound like a crotch on a startup. I don't care how cute you think they are, hearing that at 3 a.m. would bring the hood out of Buddha. Jurassic Park, <laughs> remember these guys? The Velociraptor sounds were actually turtles having sex, so next time you watch it, just know you're getting the audio file of Franklin the Turtles' hub debut. What? <laughs> Is that really what Velociraptor sounds like? Five animals you've probably gone your entire life without seeing. First, we got the Mata Mata, the turtle with more yeah, names than Tiana they're native to the wetlands of South America, primarily it, the Amazon, smiling. and it belongs in the sex offender yearbook next to Subway Jerry. Next That's is a, a spark muffin, right there, yeah, that's geez. his name. They can jump up to 50 times oh, their own body like length and be like a six-foot man yeeting himself over the Statue of Liberty in the name of freedom. They also have an interesting mating dance that makes them look drunk. Next, we have <laughs> the Greater Loferino, a bird of paradise found in New Guinea, but they're also one acid trip away from showing up in your living room. Take one look at this and tell me it isn't a paralysis Ooh. demon with drip. Those bright man. colors actually help it attract mates. 
This is a Jabru stork and it's been known to try to gouge people's eyes out. They're 5 feet tall with an 8 foot wingspan and they've been known to eat anything from rats to fish to dead animals. Their neck Dang. looks like an aroused horse penis because they're adapted to eating fish and having a neck that looks like a phallus allows it to filter them out from the water. And last we mm. have the armadillo lizard named it to South Africa. This Pokemon what is rolls that? into a ball when it's is afraid a and it can live in groups of up to 60 members and maybe they'd be intimidating if they weren't only 3 inches long. If you didn't know at least 3 of these, you gotta follow me on Instagram. I ain't know none of those, issue. bro. Here's some facts you didn't know about the friendliest animal in the world. This roid rodent is a capybara and it's a close relative guinea of a pig. guinea pig and a distant cousin of a chinchilla. They're natural extroverts that can chinchillas. hang out in groups of up to 100 led by an alpha male. I don't male. know what the freak So chill that a group of capybaras is called a meditation. Capybaras. Capybara can do the dash at 22 miles per hour and for reference, Usain Bolt's top speed was about 27. They're great swimmers mm. and they're so comfortable in water they've been known to fall asleep while floating. They have webbed feet that helps them felt wow. their way out of trouble. And fun fact, they only make love in the water. They some big boys that can weigh up to oh, 200 like pounds and are the largest rodents on earth. <laughs> They're basically guinea pigs on juice. Stop. They eat their own poop so they can get the most out of their fiber diet by digesting it twice. The Ew. female is pregnant for 4 to 5 months and she'll give birth to about 4 pups and I'm only telling you that because I want an excuse to show you this picture. Also if mm. a female doesn't want to hook up with a male, she'll hide by submerging herself in the water until he gets the hint. They've also been known to go into a trance if you rub their belly and because you think I'm lying, watch- Hold up. Alright, run that back. Just got hit with an ad. Let's go. hide by submerging himself in the water until he gets the hint. They've also been known to go into a trance if you rub their belly, and because you think I'm lying, watch this. Let me see. <laughs> the friendliest animals in the world, nobody knows why, but we can all agree the vibes are immaculate. Things mm. animals do that should honestly be. The naked mole rat queen is the only female allowed to get laid in her kingdom, and she'll assault any females Bro. that show any signs of sexual activity. <laughs> But the well, sus is part that? is that she'll mate with a few of her sons to keep the I mean, population he just said as like... as possible. She'll even release a chemical that prevents the other Morats from reaching puberty just so she can have her sons all to herself. Jail. Koalas Jail can eat eucalyptus bro, without real. a special gut bacteria to help them digest it. The only way for the Joey to get it is by nuzzling up to the mother 69 no wrapper and eating the green paste that comes out. For a month, this potty jockey will eat his mother's backdoor fudge and at this moment, koalas weren't cute to me anymore. Hippos will projectile launch their backdoor business by twirling their tail like a propeller. It goes both ways because if Glory is interested, she'll return the favor by dropping a deuce on Motomoto's head. I have <laughs> king shame, but I draw the line right there. Jail. And somehow we get to sea otters again. If he can't find sea a female, he'll for anything roughly the same size, and that's usually a baby seal. Because mm. there's no Chris Hansen for seals, he'll force himself on the underage pup while biting its face. If the baby seal dies, his furry psychopath will mate with the dead body for up to a week like the sex crazed sea weasel he is. Ooh, Jail life sentence today was Women's Day, so in honor of all the beautiful animal queens out there, here are some animals the where the women kick the men's charge. ass. Meerkats live in a female dominated Meerkats. society where the alpha will personally abort any babies out on hers and banish her subordinates for having children to make sure the only seeds get planted in her garden. Mm. Female clownfish are bigger and more aggressive and basically the husband's bodyguard, which is why if she dies, the male will put on weight and transition for the other team. In ringtail lemur culture, every adult female outranks every male because they can't spell equality. Females assert their dominance by bullying the males and snatching food from them. Naked mole wow. rats are run by a queen who runs her oh, kingdom by using urine disgusting. that basically mind controls her subjects. This royal- Just look at it, dude. Oh man, let's go. <laughs> the is kept constantly that's, by that's nasty. Sons, which is if I would've saw that, bro. Extremely inbred. Uh -uh. She's also the only one allowed to get laid, so if she finds out one of her subjects are sexually active, she'll personally beat the sexual urges out of them. Orcas uh, also run on feminism. Abuse. The oldest, wisest female orca is always the leader of the pod. Hyenas are feminism on steroids because they'll beat and bully males and only let them eat whatever scraps are left behind. It's so bad that the instant a female cub is born, she instantly outranks the oldest male. They took KAM to heart because there are no male with tail lizards alive, they all got rocked by the left hand of Thanos. <laughs> our fault. First of all, it's common in nature for smaller animals to use overt aggressiveness and irrational confidence as a defense, and the best example is the honey badger. This behavior is also seen in desert gobies going after larger males, finches that, going after eagles well, and, bears, and cougars going after animals, bears. Bro. It's possible be smaller dogs have a built-in Napoleon complex that makes them act out in fear, which makes sense because when you're that small, basically everything's a threat. The problem is <laughs> we enable dogs like chihuahuas to act like the spawn of Satan. Because if a pit bull or a rottweiler acted like that, they would get put down because they're capable of much more damage. Which is yeah, how exactly. aggressiveness got bred out of most large dog breeds. Small dogs like chihuahuas get away with this because as hellish as they are, we never have to worry about them putting their owner on a newspaper. Also, True. most people are really protective of small dogs and because they're so sheltered, they end up finding everything scary because they weren't introduced to it, which makes them select violence. Because most of the time when a chihuahua is being an op, it's doing it out of fear. On top of that, <laughs> a lot of owners think the chihuahua being a menace to society is cute and they won't correct the behavior and sometimes they even encourage it. Long story short, Chihuahuas have little man syndrome, they have short person privilege, and it's all your fault. And Nick Fox <laughs> and nobody ever fault. told you, but you know I will. They almost never need to drink water because they get all the water they need from the fruits, leaves, and roots they eat. Because mm. of this, they'll sometimes refuse to drink water out of a bowl. They're horrible Dang. pets because they scream to communicate, they pee everywhere to mark their territory, and because their urine is super concentrated, it'll smell like your whole house took a golden shower. 
Unlike Dang. most foxes, they mate for life and they can live in small communities of about 10. They basically live in underground apartments because of different Yo, family dens will be like connected that. to each other. The fennec fox avoids overheating by losing oh, a lot of heat goes the ears. ears. I, they also have dope. furry paws to protect them from the blistering desert sand. They can purr just like house cats. They may be cute, but they can clap scorpions and they can take down animals bigger than they are like a full-grown rabbit. Remember Dang. when I said you wouldn't want them as a pet? Because they're mostly nocturnal, this is what you would hear at 3am. Hey, nah. They're gonna At about get three slung. pounds, they weigh less than most chihuahuas. They're so different from the rest of their family that people used to legitimately debate if they were actually foxes. They're just cats and dog bodies. Animals that look innocent until you see what their skull looks like. First, we have the two-fingered sloth because they're cute and they look like they uh, honestly deserve the world. No but give them an x-ray and they suddenly deserve holy water and a baptism because there's no reason a sloth should be able to hole punch a human hand. Those teeth Dang. rub up against each other and sharpen themselves, which is why a sloth doesn't have to be a magician to make your hand see through. Next, we have the sea otter. It's one of those animals that could be mistaken for a plush toy if it does the mannequin challenge. Yo, the mannequin challenge was over four years ago. Damn. Yeah, sea otters are cute <laughs> until you find out what's behind that flows, baby face. Bro. Just like their cousin the wolverine, otters have a nasty bite. And they will not hesitate to use this vice grip on you. This man Terry Nutkins learned that the violent way when an angry otter made him go to bed with less fingers than he woke up with. The peccary is an innocent looking pig like mammal. Its headpiece tells a very different story. The story of an animal capable of catching a murder charge with those tusks if it feels like turning up on you. There's a reason hunting them is an extreme Jeez. sport. I love you. I love you. No question. This is f True beauty lies within. Unless you're an elephant because they got a whole cyclops in there. <laughs> Alright, man. That was the end of that video, bro. I hope y'all enjoy, man. For real. I, like, hood nature, bro. I mess with them. And I'm pretty sure. And I see that y'all mess with them, too. Like, it's, it's fire, bro. Because uh, a lot of information, I don't know nothing about it. But, yeah. Thank y'all for watching. I love it. I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Peace.